Hey, this is Al from ActionFX.com. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly assign a keyboard shortcut to one of your filters. I use Photomatix uh, quite a bit. That's from HDR Soft and it's for creating HDR images. Here I have an image already loaded into Photoshop. It's ready to have a tone mapping applied to it. But I have no shortcut key to the Photomatix plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and assign one now. I'm going to go to Edit, all the way down to Keyboard Shortcuts. Then we get this nice little dialog box pops up. Here we have the Photoshop defaults. And then my Photomatix is located in the filters, of course. And I know that it's located very close to the bottom of the filters menu. So I'll go ahead and scroll down until I find Photomatix, and here's tone mapping. Just click on this blue bar. Okay, and then we get this nice little window pops up. We can assign a keyboard shortcut. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you a couple errors first before we actually assign a shortcut. Okay, let's say you want to assign, uh, since this is by Photomatix, I'm going to go ahead and type a P and see what happens. Okay, if it's an invalid uh, shortcut, it's going to give you this little red circle with an X in it, and it's going to tell you it's an invalid shortcut, that it must include a Control and or F key in the shortcut. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select that and delete the shortcut. Let me go ahead. Okay, let's try Control P because it said include the Control command. So we'll go ahead Control P. Now we're going to get this little triangle saying, uh oh, wait a minute, this one's already been assigned. It says Control plus P is already in use. It will be removed from file print if accepted. So it tells us what exactly that's a shortcut for. And if we accept this, it's no longer going to be valid for printing. I'm going to go ahead and delete the shortcut. Click in the blue bar one more time. This time I'll go Control Alt P. Okay, now it doesn't give me any little messages telling me that this has not been assigned yet, so yes, it is valid. So Alt Control plus P is okay, so I can go ahead and click it, Accept. And we'll just go ahead and close that. So now I have my image that's already to be processed. So I'll go ahead and type in my shortcut. Alt Control P. And here the filter pops right open and my image is already be processed. All my controls, everything, I'll go ahead and click OK. Now Photoshop will go ahead and apply that filter, uh, run that process, and we have a shortcut all ready for one of the favorite tools or the ones most used in the toolbox. So that is how to assign a shortcut combination to a filter in Photoshop CS5.